enjoyed that. That was a little uh, fun, silent piece of mine. Uh, oddly, it's silent. I have a rule that I always design my routines so that I can perform them silent. But the reason uh, that's been a big benefit is every once in a while I'll have an audience of people that don't speak any English. Uh, you know, recently I had a, a fully Japanese speaking audience. The host was like, oh, I understand if you can't perform. I'm like, no, I'll be fine. And I just did my routines without words. So there's only a couple of routines that I do that it requires communication verbally. I can usually get the idea across uh, without saying a word. But this is one of those weird routines that's silent that you still have to speak English because, uh, of course, everything is written that even in a noisy room I can do this and that's one of the uh, the fun fun things about it is I don't say a word and uh, just let the uh, the cards speak for themselves this week uh, I'm gonna be focusing on stand-up money you know I are almost have enough to do a second expansion pack uh, for those who perform the stand-up money this is a great week to to reach out to me and do a session based on Stand Up Mani. If that is of interest to you, please uh, uh, contact me and we'll, uh, we'll get you uh, to the next level uh, to make sure that all the movements and gestures you have are communicating the right thing. Uh, I've helped out so many people, I probably have a, a good way to think about it to get you to that next level. So uh, please uh, find me and we'll do a, a Stand Up Mani refresher course.